Hello, 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 everyone. Hello. Yes, good day. Good day. It's 1 p.m. You know what time it is? It's time for grade seven English home language on the 7th of July 2020. I welcome everyone, every learner who is part of us today. You know me by now that I like to take the register. So can we see who is present today? Let us see who is with us today. Can you just say hi in the chat? Okay, it's good to see you again. It's good to see you again. So many familiar names. So good to see you again. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yes. Thank you. Um, thank you, everyone. I welcome you to today's lesson. Double eight one double nine five eight five four four eight. I wish you could use your name next time. Uh, Amanda, Angelina, Hwapele, Min, Mulehi, Tiana, everyone, thank you. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. So today we're doing punctuation. Yes, uh, there is there is an uh, announcement I have to make. So next week on, okay, next week there will be an assessment week where you will be writing assignments and there will be several assessment tasks, you know, yes. So in light of to, in light of next week's assessment week, I would love to ask you that if there is something that which we have done, or if there's something you have done in school that which you still need clarity on, or you do not understand, or there is a concept that which you want us to deal with before the assessment week next week, then please 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 let me know let me know okay let me know so that i can let me know so that i can prepare lessons to help you with whatever that which you are struggling with to help you with whatever that which you need help with remember i am here for you i am here to help you so help me to help you okay so if there is such chapters such concepts that you do not understand or maybe you still need clarification on, you can write them in the chat and I will prepare lessons for you based on them for the next few days, okay? Before the assessment week starts next week. So everything we've done so far and even what I'm doing today and the rest of what I will be doing during the week, we need to know and understand so that you can understand and know these things and so that you can really do well during the assessment week. I really want you to do well. That is what will make me happy about being a teacher, about being your teacher, okay? It will really be amazing, so awesome to really see you performing well, you know? I, that is my wish. That is my heart desire for you. So yes, anyway, remember, if you have a question on what you're doing today, do not hesitate to ask it in the chat. Or you can raise your hand and I'll give you a chance to ask a question. Okay, okay, let's continue. So today we'll be doing only for punctuation marks, full stop, comma, question marks, as well as exclamation marks. So this is what we'll be doing today. Like I've said, full stop, comma, question mark as well as exclamation mark. So it's full stop, comma. Okay, so that we are doing today, yes. Okay, so can you imagine how difficult life would have been to make sense of writings or to understand something which is written down without using punctuation? Hmm. I mean, can you just imagine that? Yo, that was really going to make life so much more difficult, eh? And I will give you an example to show you what I mean by this statement. I really believe in examples as a way of helping us to understand. Anyway, before we get there, there is a quote which goes with our lesson today. A quote by Lynn Truss who said, to some people, the fact that I am not married or don't have children 
would be the reason I have written a book on punctuation. <laughs> this must be a very, very, very interesting book to read. Can you imagine a book which only talks about punctuation? Mm. Wow. Wow, that, that was going to be a very interesting book. Okay, so since you're on punctuation marks, punctuation marks are like root signs, okay? Just think about root signs for a minute. Think about the stop sign, the traffic lights, the T-junction, the yield sign, you know? So you realize that if you are driving a car or if you are in your mom's car, your dad's car, your brother, your sister's car, and the traffic light says red, but then they decide to really go through, chances are that you'll bump into someone, you'll cause an accident, you'll bump into other cars and you people will get hurt and in the worst case scenario, some may even be crippled, disabled, and even die, okay? So you realize that road signs, they really make sure that there is order on the roads, okay? You make sure that there is order on the roads. Even punctuation marks, they do the same thing, that even as you read a written text, there is order, you know? Yes. So you ignore these punctuation marks at your own peril, you ignore this punctuation marks at your own risk. You realize that if you ignore punctuation marks, chances are that you are going to misunderstand whatever it is that you are reading, I promise you. It doesn't matter whether it is uh, your friend's WhatsApp text or it is your favorite book, your favorite novel, what matter, okay? So if you ignore punctuation marks, this will lead you to misunderstand things, okay? It will lead to misunderstandings. Here is an example there. If I want to say will be fine, the one which I read, I wrote in yellow, that is what I meant to say. That is the correct one. But it happens that I do not punctuate and I write it the way I wrote it here on top in this light blue color, which looks like, no, I think this is cyan, yes. So cyan, cyan, okay, yeah. So this is cyan. So you realize that if I say, well, be fine, if, if you get this text on your WhatsApp or on your phone SMS, chances are you will be going to, you are going to be confused. You know, you will try to wonder what this means. You know, does this mean that, well, be fine? Or does it mean will be fine? Or does it mean, well, be fine? You know, like there are three, for me, there are three ways of interpreting this. And all those three ways are different. Okay, the first one is well be fine, which means that this is well. Well is the name of a person, you know, it's like well be fine. The second interpretation will be me trying to wonder if the person who, who wrote this wanted to say well, you know, well as in like W I L L. And the third thing will be me thinking that, okay, maybe here there should be a comma so that it becomes well be fine, you see. So from all those three types of interpretations I've, I've got, you realize that all of them are different, okay? All of them are different. They are, and there's none of those interpretations which go together. Therefore, I would be confused to try to get your, to, to really try to understand what it is that which you were trying to say to me. And chances are I may be frustrated and I may ignore your text and will not reply to it. And then you think that I'm a bad person. Okay, or I can say, or maybe I can really be more, okay, maybe then I can really be more, more well-meaning person and I ask you what you mean by what you've just said. All right, so let's get started with the first punctuation mark. Remember, if you have a question or if you need clarity on something, remember, do not hesitate to ask, okay? All right. Okay, a punctuation, a full stop is a punctuation mark that indicates the end of a sentence. Mm -hmm. Here's an example. Today is the fourth Thursday of the month. Okay, I know today is not Thursday, okay? So anyway, bear with me just for the sake of the lesson. Today is the fourth Thursday of the month, full stop, okay? So let me show you something interesting. If you have a, your smartphone with you or your tablet, that which you, you type using your touchscreen, please take it. I want to show you something. 
so here's what we are going to do. We are going to we are going to type this sentence I used as the first example in your phone. Okay, type it in your phone. Um, type it in your phone. If you have an app that takes notes, please use it. Or you can go to SMSs, or you can just open your friend's conversation and go to the text box. We are going to type this. I want to show you something. Okay, so let's type. We type today is the fourth Thursday of the month. Okay, after writing months, just tap on your space bar two times and tell me what happens when you do that. After you have written the word month and you tap your space bar two times, what happens? Someone tells me what, ha what happens when you do that. Mm -hmm. There is Mulehi in the chat saying full stop. Okay, yes, yes, Mulehi, thank you so much. That is what happens is that after you have written the last word, which is month, then when you double type your speech bar, it writes a full stop for you. Okay, yes. So what does that mean? That means that even your phone knows how important a full stop is, that it writes it for you. Isn't that amazing? It doesn't matter what smartphone you are using. As long as it is a touchscreen and you are texting from the touchscreen itself, then it will write the full stop for you. So that is how important a full stop is. So here you see that a full stop, it indicates the end of a sentence. So this is what it's all about. You realize that the full stop, it shows that the sentence, it ends there. The full stop shows that that is the end of our sentence. Mm -hmm. Then let's continue. A capital letter follows a full stop to indicate the beginning of a new sentence, okay? So after writing this first sentence, we can still go to our phones. Uh, okay, since we wrote today is the fourth Thursday of the month, then we double tap the space bar, it will, it will write the full stop for us. After that, when you write therefore, it will start therefore with a capital letter T. Did you see that? So that shows that after the full stop, when we begin a new sentence, then that new sentence will start with a capital letter. Okay, all right. Then let's continue. Then a full stop is also used for abbreviations. For example, that's Mr. MR full stop. That's for Mrs. which is MRS full stop. And that is doctor, which is DR full stop. So this is what a full stop is used for. And it is very important for us to know, to know this, not only to know it, but to also apply it. Okay, you realize that if you do not include a full stop, sometimes it will really it could really make things very, very difficult for you. Okay, so remember to always use a full stop. It is very important for you to use it. Therefore, use it, okay? I know text with full stop, they really do look, you know, they really do look attractive. I mean, see, I mean, see these three examples I put there, you know? You will start to think that these punctuation marks are for decorative purposes, but in as much as they can be decorative, but they also have purpose. They have purpose, okay? There, 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 there are reasons why they are there. Therefore, they should really be there. They should really be used in that context, okay? Yes. So is there any question? Now we are moving to the next punctuation mark.
So the next punctuation mark, which is a comma. Okay, so a comma. A comma is a punctuation mark that is used to separate words, phrases, or clauses in a list. Okay, so that is what a comma is, and that is what a comma does. For example, there are classes for English, comma, mathematics, and natural science. Okay, so you will see that from there, the comma that we use here, it was used there to separate English and mathematics and natural science. Why? Because these are separate words, okay? They do not go together. They are different, they are different subjects. Therefore, that is why we had to separate them with a comma to show that English is a class by itself. Mathematics is also a class by itself. Natural science is also a class by itself. Mm -hmm. Then, Commas are also used to separate two or more adjectives in a row before a noun. Remember what is an adjective? An adjective is a descriptive word or a word which tells us more about a noun. Okay, therefore, here's our example there. I said, as an example, you are enthusiastic, comma, bright learners ready to learn, okay? I hope that is true about you, thank you. Yes, that is true about you, I know it. You are so bright and you are enthusiastic to learn. Yes, so from there you will see that our adjectives there is enthusiastic and the word bright. So since, since it is two adjectives, we had to separate them using the comma, okay? Yes. The next step we have commas are placed before, a, before quotation marks surrounding the spoken words when writing direct speech in a sentence. For example, he said, Comma, this speech is my favorite. So you'll see there that this comma, it helps us to see where the direct speech starts from, okay? So he said, this lesson is my favorite, okay? So we use that comma before we, we write the words which are enclosed by the quotation marks. Okay, remember if you have a question, please do not hesitate to ask. Mm -hmm. Do not hesitate to ask because at the end of this lesson, there will be a class activity that we should are going to do. So yeah, make sure you understand things so that you, so that you can be able to do it. And not only that, simply because you all need to learn to learn these things, okay? I mean, somewhere in the future, maybe even later this year, you write a formal letter to someone you respect, you know, to someone, to, to a CEO somewhere, you know, maybe to Patrice Motsepe wanting a sponsorship or whatever, you know, and then and then you find out that your your letter is not being read, your letter is not taken seriously simply because of simply because it is not understood because of the fact that you didn't correctly use punctuation marks, okay? So please do remember that. I really want you to do well, guys. I really need you to do well. So yes, question mark is next. So a question mark is a punctuation mark that is used at the end of a question, okay? All right. And another thing is that it helps to identify a sentence to be a question. Now here is something very interesting. And to really show you this, I need a volunteer who will read these six questions for us. Even if you read the one, it's okay. I'm gonna need volunteers to read these questions. Please raise your hand. 
and I'll give you a chance to read the, to read these questions and I want to show you something. Okay, let's Hopili wants to read for us. Okay, just a moment. Oh, oh so I think I, I, I muted the wrong person. Okay. Hopili, Hopili, can you please raise your hand? It will make it okay. Hopili, can you unmute yourself so that you can read for us? Mm, yes. I'm trying to I'm trying to get Hwapi to read for us, but I'm having problems. Okay, Hwapi, can you please try again? Please try again. So yes, now right now we are on question mark. Rest we are waiting for Hwapi to try again so that he can read for us or she can read for us. Okay, Hwapili, can you please raise your hand? I think if you raise your hand, it could make it easier. Please raise your hand. Okay, so now we are on question marks, okay? So I've said that a question mark is used at the end of a question, at the end of a direct question, and it helps to identify a sentence to be a question. It's very difficult to identify a sentence to be a question if there is no question mark on it, I'm telling you. Okay, I really need someone to read these questions for us because there is something I want to show to you. Okay, it seems like Hwapili is having technical difficulties today. I hope next time you will be sorted, probably tomorrow so that you can, I know you really wanted to read. Okay. Or oh, Tiana says she will read. Hi, Sal. Hi, how are you? Good and you. I'm good. So since you are the only one, can you read all of them for us, please? Okay. Yes. What is your name? Where are you from? Why are you here? How did you do it? When are you going there? Which one do you prefer? Okay, thank you, Tiana. So from what you have read, is there... Okay, Tiana, let me bring you back. I have a question for you and for the rest of the class so yes tiana are you are you back yes are you, are you there yes so when you are reading these six questions is there anything that we should felt different like anything maybe the mm. way you were pronouncing the way you were reading or the way you were sounding was there anything different no so you didn't hear any any difference in terms of your tone or something? Um, I'm not sure. Okay, just read only only one, anyone here, and and listen okay. to yourself. Anyone? What just is read your name? Question here and just read one question here and listen to yourself as you read it. Okay, read. What is your name? Mm -hmm. So didn't you realize that when you, were re when you were reading that, your tone, it went up towards the end of the question? Yes. Yes. So yeah, so that is what I wanted to show you about questions is that when you are speaking and you ask, somebody, and you ask someone a question, the thing is that your, your voice, the tone of your voice will go up toward the end of the question, okay? That's what happens mm -hmm. automatically. It's, it's not like because maybe you you decide to do it, but it just happens. That is how it is, you know? So that is when you can get from there that someone is asking you a question. If then I didn't write these things, okay? And then I was asking you, I, I was going to say, hi, what is your name? Okay, so you will realize that when you say what is your name, 
the tone of your voice it goes up with every with every letter you say up until your question is complete okay so that is what happens when you ask a question verbally okay but when you are writing what what really helps us to identify that what you're saying is actually a question is the question mark okay so when you speak it is easy to know that you are asking us a question because your tone of voice will go up and then we as we listen we will know that oh because the tone of your voice went up then you are asking us a question but if you are writing if you say if you just write what is your name okay let me write it in the chat if you just write what is your name without any punctuation mark the chances are we can really say maybe you are not asking us a question maybe you are just saying to us that your name is actually what you know <laughs> can you imagine that you know we we thinking that your name is actually what okay so yes that is the thing okay that is the thing guys that is why we really need to use the question mark it really helps us to identify that whatever sentence you wrote is a question because there are different types of sentences you know there, there are instructions there are commands there are statements and there are questions okay so statements the end with full stops question marks questions they end with question marks okay so that is what i was trying to that is what i was trying to show you by having tiana to read the questions for us i think all of you you have heard that while she was reading this towards the end of every question she was reading her voice tone was going up and that and that tells us that she really is asking us a question she's not saying she's not saying all these things but she's rather asking all right okay so those are question marks that is why it's important to use a question mark because okay i don't know if this sounds cold or not but you i mean you don't know you know people are not the same some people are good some are bad you know i mean we all have different personalities you are like a mix you know so chances are that if it happens that you ask someone for something and you do not use a question mark chances are that you may not get the reply that which you want. I mean, I think that is the reason why we have so many fallouts on social media than we would have face to face, you know, because because on social media, your friend, your friend will ask you a question without the question mark, and then you take it as a statement, and then you do not get back, you do not answer, you do not reply, and then what and then and then what happens? The next day when you meet your friend your friend will be like oh you've been online the whole day yesterday but then you didn't care to answer me you know but then but then what was there to answer because there was no question mark okay so sometimes it does happen like that you know i mean days are not the same every day sometimes you just said you're just overwhelmed by everything that which is happening in your life or everything that is happening on that day so you do not really have that time or that energy to try to figure out what a person is trying to say. Therefore, it is very important that you as the writer, please be as clear as you possibly can, okay? Make sure that whatever that which you write someone, they will get it the way you intend to. If you, if you are writing a question, if you are writing a question, if you have a question, okay? If you have a question, and you, you text your friend or whoever question, please leave the question mark at the end. I do not know, I do not know if this could be true for you, but I think this is generally true that if if you can check in you know, your social media, you realize that most of the texts where you didn't get the reply back are the texts where you didn't use the question mark, are questions where you didn't use the question mark at the end. You realize that it is very difficult to to blue tick a text with a question mark <laughs> it is very difficult <laughs> you know it is very difficult i think it is something to do with our brains that you know our brains they always like to have the full information about things so so even now if you can get a text with a question mark at the end you just read it and you do not answer chances are that it will still run at the back of your head and later on you will remember that someone asked you something but you didn't get back to them Okay, so yes. 
That is the thing. So remember, if you are asking a question, if you are writing a question, please use a question mark at the end. It will really help you. It will really help you, I'm telling you, okay? It will really, it will really help you. I mean, if it is me and I am busy and you do not write, I am busy, you are asking me for something, you do not write the question mark, I can tell you that I may not have time to really try to figure out what you're trying to say. Okay, I may just skip over your email or whatever it is, okay? So please do yourself a favor, you know, use these punctuation marks because they are important. And they are small things, but you realize that the difference that which they make, they are very big. They really help you right now and also in the future. I can promise you that. I can promise you that if you use punctuation marks correctly, if you use punctuation marks as often as you should be using them, I'm telling you, you can really be a good writer. You will be a good writer, whatever it is, you know, you'll be able to write it well, whether it is a proposal, whether it is applying for that sponsorship or whatever, it doesn't matter. The last punctuation mark of today's lesson, which is exclamation marks. So a punctuation, this is a punctuation mark that is used in a sentence which expresses strong or forceful emotions such as anger, surprise, or joy. An exclamation mark appears at the end of exclamations, commands, and interjections, okay? Yes, so here are some examples there. The first one is, okay, all right, okay. So can I get a, a volunteer again to read the first example? You realize how, how more interesting it is when you guys read it. Can you get someone else to read for us? Someone else, please, let's give Tiana a break. Can you please raise your hand or just write yes in the chat and I will unmute you so you can speak. Readers, where are you? Uh, where are you, uh, guys? Come on, learners. Learners, please. Remember, even if you are shy, you can still read. You know why? Because here it is it is an online platform okay so no one sees you and you are at the most comfortable place right now you are at your own room you are at your own bedroom so there that is where you are free you know that is where you can just be yourself so please be yourself in your room in our lesson today just raise your hand and you can read from the comfort of your own room if it happens that someone will laugh at you it's okay the good thing about that is because even if they laugh at you, you will not know, okay? You will not know because they, they are not here with you. That is what I like about this online platform, okay? You can really just read. You can speak without fear of anything, without fear of anyone, because you are not localized in the same place. We are all in different places, and we do not see each other. So can someone raise a hand and read for us? Someone, please read for us. You realize that I, I, I am telling you that the person who will enjoy this lesson the most will be the people who read. I can promise you that. Please try me. Try me. Try me. Try me and read and see if I'm wrong or right. You will see that if you are going to read in this lesson, by the time the lesson ends, you will be feeling so, so happy as if like, you just got a million rents in your bank account. I'm telling you, you'll be so happy, okay? Someone please raise your hand and read before the lesson ends. Someone please. You will realize that if you read, you will, you will feel happier. You will feel very self-confident, I, I am telling you. Okay, I do not want to point at anyone. I want you to volunteer, okay? I do not want to point at anyone. I just want you to volunteer. Okay. So please just read. I mean, who knows whether I'm giving you marks? You know, you don't know. So please read. Please read this. Okay. So that you. There really is nothing for you to lose. I promise you. You won't lose your dignity. You won't lose your self confidence. You won't lose anything. Okay. And I'm sure that if maybe you are there with your parents or with your brothers or your siblings, they will really appreciate it. You know, they will really be proud of you that you are participating in the lessons you do here. Can someone read for us? You know, I've been, 
I have been trying to encourage you to read for the past two minutes now. Please, someone, anyone. I know, I know that you use expensive smartphones, okay? And do you really want, no, please use, please get your money's worth, you know? I mean, your smartphone has a mic. That is the reason why your, your, your smartphone and your headset has a mic, so that you can read in such, in such instances, okay? Yeah, so please use, please make use of it. Make use of that mic, make use of your headphones. And I, I tell you, by the time you, I, by the time, by the time, you are done reading, you'll be feeling so happy. You'll be the happiest learner in this class, I promise you. You can ask anyone who reads. If, even I, myself, I really feel happy every time I read in our lessons. But today, in this lesson, this is an opportunity for one of you to also read, okay? And I do not want to deny you this opportunity, okay? So please raise your hand. Please raise your hand, okay? Guys, I've been pleading with you for three minutes now. Please raise your hand. You, you just read anyone, okay, just one of all these, you know. All right. Seems like no one wants to read. I'll give Tiana a chance again. Hi, Tiana. Hi. Thanks again, you know. Thank you so much. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, thank you so much. So, yes. Um, I remember now we are on exclamation marks. I did say that we use them in Should sentences. I use that's... expression? Yes, please, please, please read them as as they were going to sound. If you were if you were seeing them. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, Objection! So like, please, Get out please of put here. The emotion in it. Please put the emotion in it because of okay. that exclamation. That exclamation mark it means a certain emotion, right? So just read that and think about the emotion that sentence portrays and put that emotion in as you read. Objection. Get mm -hmm. out of here. I got a perfect score for my English test. How could you forget my money? Aha, uh -huh. you see? Thank you so much, Tiana. Thank you so much. So from what <laughs> Tiana read, I think I think all, all of us have said that in 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 the first in the first example it was that thing of frustration. You can really imagine this one on those movies or maybe your favorite soap when they are in court and then the lawyer will be like, objection, you know, simply because someone is saying something which is, <clears throat> yes, you know, yeah, something out of the way, okay? So for number two is get out of here. Yes, Tiana, I, I really love the way you also read that one. You really gave it that emotion as if like you are, you are kicking your baby sister or your baby brother out of the room. <laughs> so yes, that is the impression that gives us, that is the impression that gives, okay, that get out of here, you know, because someone came in your room, someone really stepped on the boundaries, okay. Then for the third one, I also love the way you read it, Tiana, because it was like you were so happy, you know, it is that happiness you get when you accomplish something, you know, to get a perfect score on, on a test, even any test is just good. You know, it's, it's, an, it's amazing. It will make you to feel happy for a very long time. And then the fourth one really is the one which, yeah, I mean, I really want, Tiana, can you please read the fourth one again? I see, you, I see your hand is still up. How could you forget my money? <laughs> I mean, how, how, Tiana, how can your friend who owes you money forget it, you know? Who forgets money? I mean, I mean, chances are that I know that, you know, when you go to visit your friend, even though you know you're not going to buy anything, you're not going to the grocery store or, or a restaurant or whatever, but you will have some money on you, you know? But then how then do you forget your money? How, how can someone who owes you money forget your money, you know? So those things are really frustrating and that is what we get from these sentences. So you see, you see that if we didn't have these exclamation marks, Tiana was going to read these sentences with a different tone. Maybe it was gonna be gentle, but that would be wrong because 
because these sentences are not gentle. They really show forceful emotion, okay? They show frustration, they show joy, they show anger, you know? So that is the emotion which should be in them even when you read them. And that emotion is shown by the exclamation marks there. Thank you so much, Tiana, for reading for us. Thank you so much, you are a star. A round of applause for you. Okay, so I just give Tiana a round of applause. Thank you so much, Tiana. And I know you'll enjoy the rest of your day because participating in a lesson like this one, it really, it does boost your self-confidence. It does boost your self-esteem. I hope everyone else is also clapping. It's just that we can hear your clap, but yes. Thank you so much, Tiana. Thank you so much. So here is an activity there. Uh, I will have to do it quickly because you are almost out of time, okay? So in this activity is 10 sentences without punctuation marks. Then you have to insert relevant punctuation marks in the following sentences, all right? Remember there are four punctuation marks there, which we are going to use is the one we dealt in this lesson. The full stop, the comma, the question mark, as well as the exclamation mark. So just think about them. You can do please take a screenshot of this activity and then tomorrow when we do other punctuation marks we will start by doing corrective work on this one okay so please take a screenshot of this activity um do it okay remember only for punctuation marks we need to fill in here we need to insert here is the full stop the comma the question mark and the exclamation mark so all those punctuation marks we dealt with into this lesson are the ones which go here, okay? So please take a screenshot of this activity. Do it, okay? Ask your friends to help you. Ask your brothers, your, your mother, your father, your uncle, your aunt, whoever who can help you, ask them to help you, okay? And then tomorrow, before we start with the lesson, we will do corrective work of this activity, all right? Thank you so much for joining us. It's going it has been a wonderful lesson. Tiana, thanks again for reading. And I hope that tomorrow or next time when we read, everyone else will also read. So please, 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 please remember it is, it is a good thing for you to read. You are the one who benefits more when you read. You will enjoy you, you will enjoy your reading. You will enjoy the lesson. You will enjoy, you know. So yes, let us meet again tomorrow, same time, same place. Remember, I love you. I love you so much. I can't wait to see you again tomorrow. Remember to stay safe, stay home, wash your hands with soap and water, sanitize your hands, wear your mask if you go outside. Remember social distancing, keep well, take care. Please do the homework and let's meet again tomorrow. Same time, same place. Keep well and goodbye.